Hi, my name is Jos Wisnu, and in this video, I will be showing examples on how to invoke metadata of SAP Ariba analytical reporting. First, we will get the token. The URL is a post. In the header, you see my authorization. And in the parameter, just the grant type. This access token on this example, I put it in the environment variable access token. Next, we will go to the metadata endpoint. The minimum requirement is going to be the realm and the product in the parameter key. And on the header, the bearer token from my previous call is already filled in. The next that we need is the API key. This is the API key of the analytical reporting API application for the realm status Atlantic that I'm going to get the data from. I will be sending this API with just the minimum requirement, which is the realm and the product. And it will return all the available document type, the select fields, the filter fields, everything in one page. Two point four megabyte. So everything is there, and this will include all the document types, which is the facts and dimension from analytical reporting API. Now I will show you how to utilize all the other key parameter value. For, for example, say I just want to bring back all the available document type without the select fields and filter fields. It will return just the document type and the filter fields and select fields being null. In this example, this event type dimension, consumer price index item dimension is here. I can search for sourcing project fact and all the other document type. Now that I know I want to get sourcing project fact, I can specify that if I if I stay with just the document type, it will only return one record, which is the document type only. If I change this select fields to become, I'm sorry, if I change the select parameter to just include the select fields, it will return the select fields for sourcing project fact. The next thing that I will check for this document type sourcing project is I want to get the primary key and the foreign key. By sending that at the end, you'll be able to see the primary keys and if there's any, the foreign keys. So in this case, for the sourcing project, the project ID and resource system is the primary key. I can also include the field name and description. This will return the field name and description, for example, this project ID right now without the parameter being specified, it's not returning any field name and description. Now it will show the field name and the description. Next, I will say that I need the custom field. Which is not being returned unless I specify include custom field equal to true. Now you can see if I search for ARB underscore 
or in uh, some specific cases in a uh, realm, maybe it's CUS underscore. This ARB document type is a custom field. This field saying that this custom field is equal to false, it's a bug. The last parameter that I'm going to show you is if I specify that I want the result in JSON schema, then the result will be shown in JSON schema. In the next video, I will be showing you how to get data synchronously from out of the box view template and also how to create custom field template. Adding the custom field in the custom view, patching the view, and getting the custom field data. Thank you for watching.